You are watching the Pittsburgh Penguin Fan Show on Fan Media Network. I'm Joe Bartnick, your host, a Pittsburgh Penguin fan. Joining me now, Pittsburgh Penguin fan, my great friend, great comedian, puck off co-host, Andy Picaro. Yeah, Andy. And very, very, very special guest, the one and only lead singer, the king of Common Heart, one of the greatest rock bands you'll ever see and listen to. Go out and check them out. The one and only, the beautiful man, Clinton Clegg, everybody. Hey, yeah. hello, hello. And he's a huge Penguin fan, too. We've had many great Penguin victories together. He knows his hockey. That's why we're bringing him in. Fellas, insane week of Penguin hockey. It looked like Florida showed us where we're at. Reality is we're a one-line team, and one-line teams don't win. But then, pretty much, we've been begging for some changes, and then it happened maybe organically, maybe some in due to injuries, but the forwards got switched around a little bit. We brought up Terry Pustin in. He lasted the game. He looked good. but. Oh, little guy, we bring in my boy Zahorna. He played great boils back. He scored some goals, kind of woke up Carter. Czar got a goal. What's going on in the defense? You know, uh, Pedersen actually had to sit down. Pedersen, I man out today. Pretty crazy. Friedman, hot sauce, playing good the last few games. Uh, your thoughts on the changes, Andy? Uh, well, I think that the biggest thing about the changes are that, uh, that we're keeping a lot of guys in the loop. Because uh, as we keep saying, you're going to need everybody to win. Uh, you have to have your depth and have your depth play. And I like the fact that, you know, Boyle sits out a game, he comes back and scores a goal. Uh, I, I mean, these kind of things, you know, showing that a guy can sit down, come back and, and you know, not miss a step. Because there's going to be certain guys like Cap. I thought Kapanen played well today. I thought Kapanen had a decent game, better than he's had in a couple of months, you know. So I think that, you know, I like the changes and I like the fact the changes are working as far as keeping everyone in the loop and in the game. Clint. Yeah, I, I think the my, my favorite thing about this Penguin team this year is that it seems like they always answer the questions week to week. You know, if you, if you talked to me two weeks ago, I think the conversation would have been about depth. And, and then they, they come back and they, they answer that. And then they just keep doing it. And, you know, that, and that's kind of the beauty of this team right now. I, I think they just keep answering the questions. That, that's a great point. And I also, to me, I've always just concerned about size. <laughs> size does matter. And I think when you can get <laughs> Boyle in there and you get my boys a horn, I know my, you know, my pipe dream of having the, my Paisan Angelo up is probably never going to happen this season. But, you know, Zahorn, they, they, he, they, he makes plays along the wall. He gets the puck out that maybe a Simone doesn't do as easily. And I, I think that's a big help. You know, I, I just... You, it's the deep end of the pool coming up, and you got to be able to make tough plays in tough areas. In size, areas. I think Boyle cannot be taken out of line. I mean, you want to give him a maintenance day, relax the old guy, but I think he's key in this lineup. Your thoughts on Boyle, Andy? Well, like I said, I, I'm not as high with him. I think he needs to play down the stretch for them to win. But I think that, you know, if everything's clicking and a move is made at the deadline where we see a defenseman go in lieu of forward, I think that he may sit out here and there, uh, but it really depends on who they're playing and how physical the series is going to be. And so for a lot, I think he's valuable to have for that. Uh, but as far as, you know, me, I'm just going to echo this, what I said before, like having a guy that's, you know, to be able to come in and out of the lineup like that and still score is valuable. And if he's able to still keep burying chances, which Boyle does and Simone does not, which is a huge difference when you're going to, you know, play a role that's, Similar, but not similar as far as bottom, you know, bottom sticks forward, trying to keep the puck in the zone. I think that uh, that Boyle is, you know, a great option for that, as Zahorna has shown to be, too. So they need a depth down there with scoring. So Boyle needs to stay in as long as he's a hot hand and definitely over a guy like Simone, who has, I mean, how many points? And I, I don't want to embarrass him, but it's, he's, he's not really, you know, uh, produced. Exactly. I mean, Zach Astor, he scored today, which you talk about getting off the schneid. I mean, he wasn't even a broken clock that's right twice a day. He was a digital clock. He was flashing nothing. Like he was doing nothing. But he, and he actually played a pretty good game. But uh, how about Tristan Jari, Clinton? We, we, we've we commiserated all summer. 
And then he came out strong. I thought he took a little dip, but the last few games, I think, other than his, oh, my God, he's thrown the puck up the ice with a minute left in a big game again today. I think Jari kind of found his step again the last couple of games. I think Jari's looked really good the last couple of games. couple games. I think the game that sticks out the most to me is the one that we went to together. The, the Rangers game was a statement game for him. It was a statement game for this team. And he's just been coming out and playing solid and, and been incredible and, you know, earning his spot, you know, just – like I said earlier, answering the questions. He's, he's really impressive. I, th- I think he's been doing great. I'm, I'm just right, but Jari right now. I, I absolutely, but I think, you know, I think the difference between letting in th- four or letting in three and letting in two is huge. <laughs> and I, and I, when he can, when he lets in two, it's like, they're going to win when he lets in three, I, you know, I, I, and I think that's, he's, he's the last, I think for about 10 days there, he was like, so I was saying that in three and four, and they're not bad goals. They can all be written off as uh, deflecting, a screen. This, but when you when you only let in two, no matter how they go in, you, we should win. You only let in two. For sure, I 100 percent agree. And it, it's like you know, it's funny how they can come down to that. It's you know, if you let in three, you might as well let in eight. <laughs> <laughs> at, least, at least with this team, that's how it feels. Especially when there's no depth scoring. When you're like, okay, well, Sid scored, Snake scored, Rusty scored. We're done. <laughs> if you're letting three you got to get some but you got to get some yeah. more scoring um this leads me to my to the our second point um trade deadline in 10 days everyone has their wish lists uh mine's changed a few different times but right now the only thing that i really want is, i mean i think we can find a depth defenseman somewhere on the cheap i would have liked to get luke shen or something even better but i don't know my wish list now is all the chips in to get gino a winger you know has played fabulous since he's come back, and one line teams don't win. I, I think Heinen's been okay, but they need a true legitimate scoring winger for Gino. What's your number one wish, Andy, for the trade deadline? Uh, well, I think it has to be, and, and me and you have talked about this personally. Uh, Brock Besser. I think that that's the most realistic wish, and I think it's the wish that helps them the most i don't think they have enough in the tank to get jt miller i think that's going to cost way too much and they just don't have it and jt miller being you know more of a center too is a, 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 wouldn't necessarily help they do have center depth so for me it's brock besser i think vancouver's a realistic trade partner with rutherford being over there and uh, i think it's a prudent uh, a prudent deal uh, involving john marie's that done and i think that's the chip to move Clinton Clegg, your wish. I'm not, I, I don't know how, if I have a wish outside of, I'd love, I'd love to be shocked as a fan, but in, in reality, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I don't have a name. Um, Miller would be interesting. Although I agree with Andy, it's, it's a little bit of a high order. Um, it's kind of like the Steelers wanting Aaron Rodgers, but the, you know, I, I just, I would love to see some kind of impact because I feel like this ownership They've been pretty conservative. Is that fair to say? Do you agree? So, well, so Hextall far. has been – all he's done is given Jeff Carter, uh, his buddy, he traded him in to help him out and give him a contract. Other than that, you know, he's helped. I mean, I would love to see O'Connor get a shot with Gino and then somebody else. Uh, I, I think Gino plays great with the Bugsy Malones of the world, a bigger guy that goes to the net, and then he clears him space. And if he can well, – here's my, here's my wish, Joe. Here's my wish. Let, let's let's go with uh, what I want from Hextel is uh, bringing in another ex flyer that's going to shock me. <laughs> well, I, I other than Rick Tockett, I don't know which one I want, <laughs> but uh, I, I I think maybe I I would take Ricard Raquel. Uh, you know, I like him. Uh, the Duck, I, I think we can get him. I like Lawson Kraus, but then he's probably a third line guy, and not maybe the sniper that I think Gino needs deserves, if you will. But I, I still want O'Connor to come up and play. I think O'Connor is one of the 12 best forwards on the Penguins. I don't know. If, if, if Zar is going to score, not just into empty nets, then, then maybe I'm, I'll, I'll step back. But if not, I'd rather see O'Connor get that sweater. But that's never going to – that's the real pipe dream. <laughs> but yeah. so, I'd so enjoy, enjoy a splash move by this ownership. I don't think I'm going to get it. I'm, but I'm a little bit of a, as a fan, selfishly, I'd enjoy it. That's all I can really think. It is, it is fun. 
But you know, to 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 get, you got to give. Now maybe Pedersen's expendable, but to me that's scary. I'm not sold on Friedman uh, every single game. And then your next guy's P.O. Joseph and a good wind on the Blue Royales can knock him down. I, I I don't know. I I think we need to keep Pedersen. I mean, I would I, unless you're gonna get unless you're gonna get Luke Shen or someone of his ilk. I, yeah, I, well, I disagree. I Go ahead, Andy. Sorry. I was gonna say I I think that's why I think you stay pat with what you have, and if you trade Marino for this winger asset, we're gonna bring back with that is um you send a pick along with Marino for an asset, and you bring back a six or a seven guy uh to shore up the loss of Marino because with Matheson coming back, they have two great puck carriers in uh in Latang and Matheson. I've really enjoyed Matheson on the top line with Latang. He's really I mean. To quote Staggy, his smooth skating. <laughs> he always keeps Latang on his toes, too, because Latang just can't freelance completely because he knows Dumo's there. And then Dumo kind of helps Marino out. You know, I thought Marino had a nice game today. No, Marino's I, I good. You got to get to give or give to get, as I said, you know. Oh, yes. I mean, I'm, I'm going to say if we keep him, I think I think having Dumo yeah. with him is, is a good helps him out a little bit. I disagree with you, Joe, about uh, Friedman. I mean, you, you, you can't uh, create or build the most punchable face in hockey. <laughs> and and that, that, guy is, that guy is doing it. I, I'm, I'm in. I'm fully in on Friedman. All right. Well, when we – you know, I like Friedman, but, you know, when, when teams have nine guys that can all beat him up, when, when someone can hold Friedman down and still punch Sid in the face, then, then, then we'll see. Then, then I'll wish we had Shen and, you know – and boy, on the you know that that's when you need big guys. You know, it's all fun and games until everyone gets run, and then you're wondering what happened. But I I agree with you. He stirs the pot and he makes it fun, and he, he's playing well. Yeah. I just always yeah. get scared when you can't win your own fights. If you're always waiting for the ref to break them up, you know it's, it's tough in the playoffs. You're right. Um, any final thoughts? I want to. Uh, any any final thoughts? Uh, we we got we got Nashville, St. Louis. How many points you want to be happy this week? Three. Uh, yeah. Perfect. All, uh, all of them. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Clinton Clegg of the Common Heart. Uh, check out his stuff on all all the platforms. The music is amazing. You can't have enough feel good songs. Go see them live. They make you feel so good. The music, it, it's impressive. It's incredible. It's real music. It's like, it's its just great stuff. It makes you happy. A, a, any plugs you want to give us, Clinton? Where you're going to um, be, your albums and stuff? Yeah, yeah. Joe, Andy, real, let me first say, real pleasure. Uh, thanks for having me on. Um, Our pleasure. We, uh, uh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, the Common Heart will be at Stage AE here in Pittsburgh on May Saturday, May 28th, Memorial Day weekend. It's a $10 ticket. It's all ages. Bring the family um, we're, we're a band that, that you know, I, I would call us a rock band at, at our core, but we put on a show that's full of energy and emotion. We try to put a positive message out and uh, we, we got some uh, great bands with us down there uh, uh, that day. And it's going to be it's going to be a beautiful day. I think it's the way to kick off summer and uh, just excited about that. So stage AE May 28th, um, grab a ticket and come on down. That's awesome. Uh, I'll be at the Club Cafe. April 16th, it's a Saturday night. There's no Penguin game. There's no excuses. I don't have to edit this. You know where to catch Andy. Love him. Love Clinton Clegg. Love Andy Picaro. I'm Joe Bartnick. Let's go Pens. That's our show. To host a fan show or appear as a fan on a fan show, simply create a profile on Fan Media's iOS app or website. Select your teams and make a short intro video on your phone. Show hosts, reporters, former players, and superfans can use our Get Verified feature and make an intro video as well, and our mobile newsroom staff will reach out.